Here are some advanced Flixier editing tips. The Flixier timeline offers a variety of features that are usually only seen in traditional desktop video editors. These features can make your editing experience a lot easier if you spend a few minutes to learn about them. Here's a rundown of the most important ones. Tracks. In video editing, tracks are horizontal layers of the timeline where audio and video clips can be placed and edited. Tracks are essential for organizing and separating different types of media in a video project. For example, in a typical video project, you might have one track for your main video footage, one track for background music, and one or more tracks for sound effects or text. You can add or remove tracks as needed, depending on the complexity of your project. Tracks allow you to edit individual clips without affecting other clips in the same project. For example, you can adjust the volume or add effects to a specific audio clip without changing the volume or effects of other audio clips in your project. Similarly, you can trim or adjust the timing of a video clip on one track without affecting other clips on different tracks. Clicking the Extend button in the top left corner of the timeline will open the Track Settings menu. This allows you to add new tracks, hide or mute multiple clips during the preview, as well as lock or remove tracks. Locking a track prevents any objects on the track from being edited, which can come in handy when you want to prevent possible mistakes in a complex project. Lastly, you can reorder tracks by dragging them up or down with the left mouse button. Ripple Split Sometimes when editing, you may want to add something in the middle of a complex video that has a lot of assets overlapping on different tracks in the timeline. Instead of cutting each clip manually, you can hold down the shift key and use your left mouse button to move the playhead to the right. Ripple Split makes a cut across all tracks. It splits every object into two parts and moves everything on the timeline to the right in order to create a gap. Ripple Move the Ripple Move function allows you to move an asset on the timeline along with every other asset to the right of it. This helps you move assets while maintaining their position relative to each other on the timeline. To do a Ripple Move, select the clip in the timeline, hold down the Shift key, and use your left mouse button at the same time to drag the clips to the right. To do a Ripple Move on multiple tracks, hold down Control and use the left mouse button to select multiple clips on different tracks. Once you have selected them, Hold down Shift and move the clips to the left or right by clicking and dragging with the left mouse button. Timeline Settings The Flixier Timeline Settings can be found under the Tracks menu on the lower left side of the screen. The Object Size slider allows you to change the vertical size of each timeline track. Making the tracks smaller can help keep things visible when you're working on complex projects where you need to fit a lot of tracks on the timeline. Auto In Between Transitions allows you to choose whether you want a transition to be automatically added when two clips overlap on the same track in the timeline. You can also choose which transition you want Flixier to add in by default. Show Waveforms lets you toggle the audio waveform on and off for video objects. Object Names lets you change whether or not you want to display the names of media objects on the timeline. Finally, Snapping is a system that helps you align clips in the timeline, relative to other clips or to the playhead. You can click the blue Snap button to enable or disable it. Groups you can create a group using the Add button in the Tracks menu and add tracks to it by dragging them over to the group. Organizing tracks into groups allows you to keep your timeline more organized and adjust the timings for all of the tracks in a group at once. For example, if you want to move a part of your project earlier in the timeline, you can select the group and drag it towards the left. This will move all the tracks in the group to the left. You can also collapse groups, meaning that you can hide tracks you don't want to see, which makes complex timelines a lot easier to manage. You can also rename groups to keep track of what's in them, or lock groups to prevent any mistakes.
Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tips, tricks, and video tutorials.